Though deployed in various conflicts in recent years, notably in Nagorno-Karabakh in 2020 and Syria since 2011, drones have taken on a new dimension since the war in Ukraine was initiated by Russia on February 24, 2022. The use of drones in Ukraine represents a step change. Never before have so many drones been used in a military confrontation. These range from the very small, such as the Black Hornet, which has a wingspan of only 12 centimeters, to pretty large ones like Bayraktar TB2 with wingspan of about 12 meters. The US military is working not only to deploy new drones, but also to arm existing ones. Boeing in situ integrator drone also known as the RQ-21 Blackjack, which has traditionally been used for intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance, or ISR, roles, has been validated to drop small, precision-guided Shrike munitions on designated targets. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Shrike-armed RQ-21 Blackjack could be a potent addition to the U.S. arsenal. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Boeing in situ RQ-21 Blackjack, company name Integrator, is an unmanned air vehicle designed and built by Boeing in situ to meet a United States Navy requirement for a small, tactical, unmanned air system STUAS. In situ is a wholly owned subsidiary of Boeing Defense, Space and Security and has several offices in the United States, the United Kingdom and Australia. Boeing in situ RQ-21 is a twin boom single engine monoplane designed as a supplement to the Boeing Scan Eagle. The integrator weighs 134 pounds and uses the same launcher and recovery system as the Scan Eagle. The RQ-21 was selected in June 2010 over the Raytheon Killer B, AAI Aerosoned, and General Dynamics slash Albit Systems Storm. It first flew on the 28th of July, 2012. The US Navy launched one using a pneumatic launcher and a recovery system known as Skyhook. This eliminates the need for runways and enables a safe recovery and expeditionary capability for tactical missions on land or sea. On the 10th of February 2013, the integrator completed its first at-sea flight from the USS Mesa Verde, a San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock. Integrator is a long-endurance, multi-mission, unmanned aerial vehicle UAV. The baseline configuration is 8.2 feet long and has a wingspan of 16 feet. It has a ceiling of 19,500 feet, a maximum endurance of more than 24 hours, and a maximum horizontal speed of more than 165 kilometers per hour, or more than 103 miles per hour. According to the manufacturer, Integrator, a NATO Class 1 Small UAS DOD Group 3 UAS, offers 40 pounds or 18 kilograms of payload capacity. Payload integrations are accompanied in the center CG bay, two wing trays, and two wing mounted hardpoints. Integrator's multi payload capacity allows our customers to carry multiple munitions and transition between kinetic and non kinetic objectives as the mission requires. Before the weaponry was added recently, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, missions were the main uses for the integrator. Multiple payloads can be carried in the 61 kilogram or 135 pound craft's nose, internal bay, and underwing stations. 
Apart from ISR packages, it can be used to accommodate synthetic aperture radars, wide area motion imagery WAMI, sensors, and wide area maritime surveillance sensors for intelligence, as well as signals intelligence packages. Reports in September 2023 indicated that in situ was collaborating with several weapons developers and U.S. government USG, organizations to enable Integrator to deliver small, accurate munitions and direct them to their targets. On December 12th, in situ announced the successful demonstration and published a video of an Integrator carrying out the testing. The test involved releasing two GPS-guided inert munitions called Shrike from Integrator, which had been specifically calibrated for ground targets. The experiment was conducted in collaboration with L3 Harris Technologies and Corvid. While details about these compact munitions are limited, according to in situ, Shrike is recognized for its multi-mission precision strike capability and versatility. Corvid Technologies Director of Business Development, Kyle Bowen, said, We demonstrated a low signature munition with a safe separation sensor, fuse, and warhead on integrator. He further added that the integrator delivered the munitions within one to two meters of the target in each test flight. We couldn't have asked for a more successful demonstration. In situ's vice president of programs, engineering and flight, Justin Pierce, said the two rounds of munitions were seamlessly fitted into integrator's CG, center of gravity, payload bay, and several mission sorties were executed, demonstrating advanced navigation, targeting, and payload delivery systems. Drones have gradually established themselves as an essential weapon. Any advanced military will need to have an inventory of drones for use in modern-day conflict. The U.S. has come a long way since Predator, which ushered in the drone age. Predators were best known for their ability to deliver precision strikes as their controllers sat halfway around the world in small and discreet bunkers. When it comes to uncrewed platforms, the US has a decisive edge, but rivals are catching up. Russia and China are deploying a wide array of small, medium, and large drones that can be used as weapons delivery platforms. Given the circumstances, it's essential that the US military pulls up its socks and gets moving. While developing new drones is critical, Exploring the capabilities of existing ones is equally important. Arming RQ-21 Blackjack with Shrike is a fine example of this and holds a lot of potential. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.